Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to film my top designer fragrances for men for the summer. So I've sat down and I put together a list of some of my favorite fragrances on a man in the summer. So let's get into it. Designer fragrances, we gotta keep that in mind. I could also do another version of this video with niche fragrances if you guys would like. Leave a comment below if you'd like to see my favorite summer niche fragrances for women and for men as well. But anyway, this is gonna be a designer list and let's get into it. So the first one that I'm going to talk about, which is probably one of the most popular summer fragrances for men is <laughs> Light Blue Intense Dolce & Gabbana. We all knew this, we all saw it coming, but I also wanted to mention that there's a lot of flankers, a lot of really great flankers coming out in the last couple of years that are good, but I'm right now just talking about the original Light Blue Intense for men. So this fragrance is just a beautiful, woodsy aquatic fragrance launched in 2017 by Alberto Marias. We've all heard that name before. <laughs> so this fragrance is super fruity in the top. It is a blast of grapefruit. There's some mandarin orange in there. It also has seawater and musk. I think that's very interesting kind of fragrance note, seawater, but it's in here. Super long lasting and you know, it's a crowd pleaser. It's one of the most popular summer fragrances for men. Like I said at the beginning of the video, my brother, I bought him a bottle of Light Blue Intense for his birthday last year and he is obsessed with it and he says he gets so many compliments and personally it's one of my favorite fragrances on a man I think it's very nice perfect for the hot weather so another very popular fragrance um, that I will include in this list of my designer fragrances for men is Allure Ohm Sport by Chanel it's very fresh and it's very good for the summer but it's a little different it has a little bit more woodsy and spicy notes in it it's not your typical freshy there's a little bit more to it it has orange in there sea notes blood man Mandarin. Then it also has some of the more spicy notes like it has pepper and neroli, cedar vetiver, and white musk. It's very likable, but it's just a little bit different, th I think, than like your typical fresh aquatic fragrance. So I really like that one. And Chanel is a great brand. We all know this. Very long lasting, amazing performance. I've smelled that one quite a few times and I really like it. So I recommend. <laughs> the next one on the list is going to be Versace Pour Ohm. And this one is more of like it's a little bit lighter. It's kind of like an out of the shower kind of scent. It's a little less complex than the last one that I talked about. It's also by Alberto Marias. This one has notes of lemon and bergamot. It's very citrusy, very fresh, and it has neroli and musk and a little bit of amber as well. This one has, I would say, more of a moderate performance. It's not like a powerhouse. It's not going to last like, you know, 12 hour days. I think that this one um, it's just it's more on the moderate side, you know, it's not like weak performance But it's not going to last all day long. Like I said, it's lighter. It's more of like an out-of-the-shower fresh Clean kind of fragrance, but I still think it's a really great option for the summer for something very light and great for the high heat The next one on my list is Armani Aqua Di Gio. So this one is more of an aromatic aquatic citrus fragrance more of like a Sea breeze kind of fragrance, obviously in the names it's aqua. What do you expect? And this one's been around forever. It's been around since I think it was launched in 1996 by who else? Alberto Marias. I thought that it was kind of interesting that he like, you know, was the uh, perfumer for many of these fragrances on this list. And this one's very good. It's got lime, it's got lemon, those citrus notes, but it also has a little bit of floral notes in there. It's got some jasmine and a little bit of rose. It has peach. It's a little different, but it's not, you know, too out there. So I think that's a reason that like it's been around for so long and it's had such success. This one is more unique, has a moderate performance. It's still a little bit lighter, but I think it's so sexy. This is one of my favorites as well for the summertime. This is a great one. And then the last one that I'll talk about is by YSL and that is Y Live. And this one is probably more on the spicy side on this list. It's a little bit less fresh. It's still really good for summer, but it's not like your typical citrus freshy. This one's just a little bit more spicy. This one has notes like orange blossom and ginger and bergamot and juniper, and then it also has a little bit of sage. So it's a good, decent balance. It was launched in 2019. I think it's just a really simple, easy to wear, everyday kind of fragrance for the summer. It's something that you can just reach for. You don't have to think too hard and you'll smell amazing. So you'll definitely be turning heads. That's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. These are just some of my favorite designer fragrances for men for the summer. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do a niche version of this because I definitely can. I definitely have some very strong opinions on niche fragrances on men. <laughs> 
so uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video I hope you guys are having an amazing start to your summer 4th of July around the corner here in America and I hope you guys have a fun safe weekend I love you guys thank you so much for watching leave a comment below don't forget leave a comment do it now I'll see you next time bye